Hey guys, this is Abhinav here. In this video, I'll be giving you a complete overview of EasySendy. So, once you register with EasySendy, you will get the confirmation email. And once you confirm that, you will be redirected to this page where you'll have to uh, set your password and fill in all the details. You'll have to enter the company name, the industry that describes your company, and what type of emails you want to send, and how many contacts you have. So this is the user interface that comes as soon as you log in. On the left hand side is the dashboard where you can access all the features of EasySendy. The first step is to create a subscribers list. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, you will have to create, you will have to enter the complete details. And all these other uh, fields are not necessary. You can enter it if you want to. The city and zip code are necessary. You'll have to enter all of these. Once you've done that, you will be this this page. You'll have to upload the subscribers list for the database. You can also do it manually if you want to, or you can use all these features to upload the subscribers list. To upload it manually, you need to go to the dashboard, go to lists, open the one that you just created. Click on subscribers, create new, you need to enter the details here, let's say status is confirmed. Now that you've created a subscriber and the list of subscribers, you can go ahead and start with an email campaign. For that, go to email campaigns in the dashboard, click on create new campaigns. As you can see, EasySendy provides you with all these kind of campaigns. So this, since this is just an overview, I'll be going with regular campaigns. I'll be doing the others in the upcoming videos. Let's say campaign name, welcome email. Since we have not created a group, we can't select anything here. Otherwise, you'll be able to choose a specific group. Now we'll have to select the list. Like same thing for segment. Since we have not created any segment, we will not be able to select anything here. Now this step is where you design the template of your email. You get two options, uh, editor and email builder, where you can do it manually or uh, drag and drop editor, where you will already have a custom made template that you can drag and edit. So this will be the template. <coughs> On the right hand side, you get the features that you can drag and drop. If you want to drag, if you want to drop a text, you can just drag and drop it. If you want to add an image, you can just drag and drop it. And if you want to remove something, you can just click on this, delete. This will remove that. And then once you press save, the, once you save the template, you will be redirected to this page where you can see all the details and this is because it's a free account you will need to enable default Arctic mail delivery server you will be able to send 100 emails after that you will need to subscribe to an external uh, delivery server i will link those in the description below so let's just enable this and now you are good for your first 100 emails then save campaign So, you've created an email campaign for the first 100 subscribers. Now, let's talk about web pop forms. Come to the dashboard, go to web pop forms, create a template. So, you can uh, integrate these into your websites where you can generate leads from your visitors. So, as you can see, EasySendy has more than uh, 250 ready made templates that you can choose from. So, select the one that you like, click on import template. Here, you get to preview the template. And if you click on the icon next to that, this is the editor where you can edit the template. So these are all the layers of the template right now. If you want to remove something, you can do that. If you want to add, you can add new layers. This is also drag and drop. 
and these are the other fields that you can edit form fields button setting layout setting you can change the color the size of the icons and you can add your social uh, portals etc since this is a demo account i'm not saving it but you can go ahead and save it <coughs> and here you get to see the script that you can embed into your website so once you've created a web pop-up form it will be integrated into your website now what will you do when a visitor subscribes to your website you need to send them an email for that go to drip campaigns on the dashboard create drip template you need to create a email template again using these two options once you're done with this save the email template now go to drip campaigns again go to all drip flow create a new drip flow let's call this email template one This again is a beautiful dra drag and drop editor where you can uh, create a beautiful uh, drip flow. Select the list. Since we don't have any segments, just click save. So when you press this, you'll get three options, action, decision, and condition. Action is as soon as a visitor subscribes to your website, you'll need, you'll need to send them an email. I want to send uh, an email one minute after they have subscribed so i'll just select this let's save now that this is done you can create another one to send after one day two days three days and so on and then this is decision uh, based on whether they'll open the email or if they'll open a link in the email this will create another flow and then the third option is condition that is on lead feedback so these are the options you get from drip flow now that we've finished creating a drip flow i just want to take a minute to explain some of the other features in the dashboard here you can check out the price plans these are the email templates that are available for you and here you get to choose the delivery servers this is the support tickets and then if you have any doubts or queries you can access the help documents we have a whole list of blogs that will help you get through Easy sending. If not, you can also contact our customer support. They'll be more than happy to help. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I'll, I'll get back to you with more videos.